Due to the mature rating of this game, viewer discretion is advised. Ahoy there, Anthony, the Captain here. Welcome to Nerd Edition of Captain's Arcade. This time around, we're going to be playing some Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I want to get my hands on a physical copy, an actual copy of this game, but the closest thing I got is the pocket box, and besides... <coughs> excuse me. Besides, they, they don't come cheap nowadays. Talk about Mortal Kombat Trilogy, especially for the PS1. Based on the reviews, I... Try to stay away from it, but it's just there for the nostalgia from what I've been hearing. Especially with the aggressor, so to speak, and the loading times. But still, this is a game I've always wanted to play. You get the best of all three worlds, all three Mortal Kombat games. The first, second, third one, and Ultimate 3, I guess. I'm not sure. But still, I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. It's the closest thing I got. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! <laughs> and as you saw in this, this, the disclaimer, any kids watching this, turn off now because this ain't for y'all. But, yeah. <laughs> because it's Mortal Kombat, Turn it off now, because this ain't for y'all. <laughs> Ready down for my tour. Get ready for Mortal Kombat. I sound like Don LaFontaine. In a world where it's divided into three. Three generations, one boss, one goal. Major Jackson Briggs. <laughs> Yeah, and the Genesis versions, especially for Ultimate Three, you got the ob the option to turn off, turn the bloods on and off. That's what I've been hearing. Take, but take a look at this roster. I played some sample games. Right, I played a sample game right before this, uh, right before showtime. But I think I got a little bit of a grasp of things. I'm gonna try this technique. Johnny Cage. Sound like Don Lap Don LaFontaine, the uh, movie trailer guy. I got an interest this variety of work. I could keep spamming spamming them. I used I used to beat MK3 Ultimate MK3 on the Genesis a lot. I and my go-to guy is Noob Cybot. 
I don't think Mataro has any uh, fatalities. But like I said, New Saibot is my go-to guy. I know everybody has their... I know everybody has their specific characters, their go-to characters in specific games, but in Ultimate 3, I gotta go with my boy Noob Saibot. Sector, aka Ketchup. Sector sounds like some sort of Beastie Boys track song or something like that. I forgot what song it was, but that's exactly what he reminds me of. I can sweep him from a distance. <laughs> Not to mention he's super strong. I'll take this Mataro, me playing as this Mataro over playing Mataro off of um, Armageddon. Because <laughs> I own Armageddon and, or once owned Mar Armageddon. Slicing fans. Please. Just keep spamming them. Here lies John Tobias. Here lies John Tobias. It sounds like the Dragon Zord, Mataro. Every time he gets attacked, he sounds like the Dragon Zord. Kung Lao. That's the stage in which you fight in Ultimate 3. <laughs> Excellent, Liu Kang, Sonya, Jax, Katana, Jade, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Cyrax, Smoke, Shiva, Motaro. <laughs> Won't do you any good. You can't be spun. You can't throw any project projectiles at him. No projectiles. Kano in MK1. Aggressor. Motaro. One desire. No flawless victory. Kano, did you have a nice trip? Now here's the hard part. Mac. 
Mataro wins. Score another victory for Mataro. Now he goes up against the next to the last boss. And then... Shao Kahn. One man, one creature. Ain't nothing Mataro can't do. Gore. Brutality. Fatality. Breezing right through them like it's nothing. On warrior mode. Desire. And was like, Adam's gone completely insane. You know what? I've gone insane. Lock me in the asylum. Don't make him laugh. There goes Mataro's first loss. He chooses to continue. One man, one earth realm, one creature, one desire. You can't go into the subway. You know why? Because the final boss is at the bridge. Can we take it to the bridge? Away for the low time. I'll go as far as I can. I'll go as far as it'll let me. Motaro. <laughs> Brutality. Animality. Fatality. Superb. Oh, <laughs> 
I'll use some strategy on this. Wonder how many lives I have. I got some interest, interesting options. I can use Kintaro, Goro, Shao Kahn versus Shao Kahn, and Mataro. taunts I'll see what I can do because he's quick this guy's fast I'll try again if I can't do this I'll probably see if I can fight fire with fire I'll use probably Goro maybe Shao Kahn versus Shao Kahn. Goro. I'll have Goro take over. <laughs> Although I've never used Goro, I've never played as Goro before in this in this game. I have played in other games. <laughs> See if I can fight fire with fire. Time to fight fire with fire. Shao Kahn. Cybot. Yep, I gotta go with new Cybot. Let's see how he does. I know you can shoot projectiles at Shao Kahn, but 
not at Mataro. I'm getting somewhere. Still got it. Oh, almost, almost, almost. I'll get him yet. At least I know what to look for. Okay. All right. Faster I can knock this out, the sooner I can get, I can go to bed. Man, almost hard to believe that we're right smack dab in the middle of September already. Next thing you know, everyone's gonna be starting with uh, with Halloween. I've been seeing Halloween decorations out a, a while back, like earlier this month. And Cracker Barrel, they already they've been done having their their Christmas decorations out. Like it's way too early for that. Yeah, noob is my. Like I said, at least I know what to look for. I know what which characters not to use. I'm sticking with what works. But I want. But uh, question out there: Which is your go-to? Um, which is your go-to characters in specific Mortal Kombat games? As you many of you already know, I go for Noob Cybot for Ultimate Three, and quite frankly, for Trilogy. But. Who's your go-to character in specific Mortal Kombat games? to being Shao, defeating Shao Kahn.
All right. Let's see if I can knock this out before we reach the 30 minute mark. <clears throat> Not counting the intros and the disclaimers and everything. It's just a matter of getting the shadow projectile down. Noob. I think I might try over to I think I might try one of the other towers. I think I may do a follow-up on this. most of the time, but I may have to use the D-pad. The harsh bar of these, uh, these PlayStation games, you gotta wait for the loading times. So they lose points. So the PlayStation automatically loses points as far as that's concerned compared to the other ports, such as the N64, for example. I heard it's better than this. So, therefore, it gets the edge. Move. Move.
Sometimes it registers, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why it doesn't work the way it does. Just over the 30 minute mark. Not counting the disclaimers and the intros. See both versus a smoke vert, both versus a sub zero. For a moment, of course. <laughs> It's taking longer than I thought. Got him! Some another fighter had to take over. I'll take. I'll 
I'll take the question mark. Random prize. Fatality terms are you roared I didn't get a chance to read it all. Oh, it's a fatality demonstration. Hmm. Is there a doctor in the house? Like I said, I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be playing this game again. Sometime down the road, maybe later on the season, maybe in, maybe in another season. And uh, try a different tower and see if anything different happens. It'll be a cold playing cast of trilogy characters. Okay. <laughs> get the roll call. We love roll call, y'all. Sal DeVita, the man behind WWF WrestleMania and NBA Jam. He also did the WWE All-Stars for the uh, for later generation games. Carrie Ann Hoskins. I like her. She's cool. Becky Gable. The female ninjas. Steve Ritchie, the voice of Shao Kahn. Okay. Well, I guess that's everybody. Eddie Boom Boom and John Tobias. The men behind them. The Toasty Dan Borden. Well, I guess that's it. That's going to do it for this edition of Captain's Arcade. Join me next week for some more arcade fun as we're at the halfway mark of September. And uh, next thing you know, like I said, it's going to be Halloween. We're getting closer and closer to Halloween season, which means another time me watching the, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. And uh, go costume hunting and which also means we're getting closer and closer to WrestleCade. Let's not forget about that. It's like every single time that we get closer and closer to WrestleCade, it's like bigger names pop up. We get bigger, get closer and closer to bigger, bigger names. It's like the closer we get to WrestleCade, the bigger the name. And so, thank you for not coming nice, nice seven. Okay. And like I said, Cracker Barrel has already had their Christmas decorations up since early to mid-August? Question mark. Yeah, I mean, I, I I get that they like the holiday season and all, but yeah. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this edition. I'm going to bed. I don't know about you. Join us again for some more arcade fun. Until we meet again, baby, say goodbye.